28th anniversary, we went to Grantsville, Maryland to Meshack Browning's Cabin on the River. And it's a lovely place with a cluster of cabins right on the water. And the trees were turning, it was beautiful, even though we had some rain. And we couldn't get the usual cabin we got because we were too late, but we got a smaller one and it worked out okay. You get a picnic table and a cooker outside. And uh, this cabin was on the second floor, um, and we entered through the rear. And it had a little kitchenette with everything you need, a refrigerator, and a microwave table, and high stools. Windows all the way around with the most adorable little curtains with bears on them. And right outside the kitchen was a little balcony deck, and we could sit out there and watch the river. We loved listening to the river. And it was raining, so we could uh, hear the raindrops, but it also brightened all those colors. And there was woods to walk through with hand-carved wooden statues everywhere. And they always kept the grounds very nice here. They stock the river with trout, so it's a good place to fish. Now inside the cabin, they had a nice little seating area. Wind is all around the bed, so you could pull the curtains and watch the river anytime you wanted to. And along with the seating, they had a cable TV, so you had the comforts of home and entertainment. And they had free Wi-Fi too. Not really roughing it, but we had a good time. Now there are plenty of trees outside the cabin, including some oaks, and they had large acorns on them that were falling. It was like incoming, but I had a good idea. I thought, I've heard about grinding acorns to make acorn flour, and then you can make pancakes and muffins and breads. So I decided to pick a plastic grocery bag full of them, and I did that and brought them home. Now, unfortunately, the squirrels found them on my front porch that first night I brought them home and got into them so I probably ended up with half a bag and I've yet to grind them but I do plan on doing that. I saw Amanda from Freedom Acres do it and uh, she gave us me some good ideas of how it should be done and you should check that video out Amanda from Freedom Acres on the Homestead Network channels. See all the acorns? They were everywhere. There were hundreds of them. Another thing we did, go to the Springs Folk Festival in Springs, Pennsylvania, which is two miles away. There's a separate video for that. And of course, we hit the Goodwills and the flea markets. At this Goodwill, I got myself a really cute uh, candle holder with a scripture verse on it. And I spent $3 on a wallet because I needed a new one. And then we, uh, I also picked up this uh, stitchery note card set that you stitch the edges on as a craft. And then we went to this dry dock flea market and I found these lovely candles for two and three dollars each, complete with boxes. And then we took a trip to the 219 indoor flea market. See there's plenty of things to do on a rainy day. And I found some nice uh, teaware to uh, match my dining room. Then we drove to Oakland and we went to the Englanders. Uh, it's an antique market and uh, grill and we found a postcard from Lancaster, Pennsylvania and I bought this teapot. The metal part is for brewing and comes off and I love it. And how else would Bandana Grandma curl her hair when she's camping? Well, we didn't exactly rough it, but we had a wonderful time on our 48th anniversary weekend. Thanks for watching.